Kristen Manoni and I'm here to show you today about shear that we have available for um, demonstration today um, and the how easy it is to actually use and how comfortable it is while you are performing haircuts. Um, first off, your normal shear has restricts your hand and this one allows you to move freely throughout different positions of cutting without hurting your shoulder, your elbow, or your <laughs> your wrist. So compared to a regular shear, the swivel shear um, allows me to cut, make a a cut without forcing my hand into an awkward position. So we've got. I can just easily cut hair without damaging anything in my wrist. And the other shear that we have, I have an awkward position in my wrist. Let's see what else we got. See, it's not a natural movement. Also, the different positions, it's a very natural movement. As to the other one, your conventional shear, it's still forced and you can't, you're raising your shoulder and your elbow more and your, your, you're constricting the, the natural movement of your wrist. Dressing was big in the 30s, 40s. People cut hair like this. And this is where the carpal tunnel came from. This is a strain right there. But now we've evolved. <laughs> we've learned to cut like this. But also with technology, our shears are evolving. But not only will this help your hand in a more natural movement, but it will also help your shoulder. So you're not trying to get all these awkward positions. And um, when you need to go backwards, you can go very easily. And it doesn't, doesn't overcompensate. It's a great feel. And it's just a slight turn, but it just naturally goes with with your hand, honestly. I I actually like the the natural movement and um, I was doing I had swivel before the flex thumb and I would lose my place all the time and I would take my thumb out and go back to it and I felt like I was forever trying to find my spot. And now, it's just, I mean, it's a natural movement every time. And the fact that I have been doing hair for almost 10 years, and I'm not quitting anytime soon, so I've got to 
got to think about the comfort of and longevity of the things that I do on a daily basis. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing, but no, I don't have to lift up my arms a lot. Everything is pretty much right there within my motion, and um, I don't have any crazy like wonky hand positions just because everything works with how I'm moving.